Hi guys, it's the RPG Brit here and welcome back to my Let's Play of Made of Scare. Um, so I have been playing around a little bit trying to figure out how to open these doors and for some reason they've literally just opened. Um, I rang both the bells, I don't know if maybe before I wasn't doing it quick enough or, or what, I don't know, but um, they've opened now anyway, so let's, um, now let's just have a look at the map. So that leads back into the main room. Um, Okay, the one on the left opens up into that bit. So at least we've got we've got plenty of places where we can like loop around to avoid him. Um but let's go down this way first. Nice. We've got a um a safe room. Let's uh let's save and listen to this. Hopefully he'll wander off. Skip in now. Oh, he's walking off in that direction. Oh no, that sounded like he's, he's suddenly gone closer. He's got a door right in front of us. Looks like it's one of a symbol on, so it's. Look oh, where is he? Is he? It might be the other side of here, which means we're fine. Um, yeah, so that's another locked door. Sounds like the music box is in there. Do a big, big loop round so that we can draw him all the way down here. Where's the best place to leave him? Probably in the nursery. Um, yeah. So we go down here. So breathing. Yeah, so he's going to come through here. So that's now two keys we need. There he comes. Oh, got caught there for a sec. Right. That should leave us quite a lot of time now. Let's just sprint back and see what is in that door. Yeah, we're in a good position now. Um, yeah, that music that was definitely in there. Nice. The map of this side. That's counting down, but to what? Oh. 
Uh, I wonder if we've got hurt with that. Yeah. Oh. Do we have to keep doing it? He's got the key, isn't it? We've got to kill him to get the key off him, I think. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Um Is that it? <laughs> oh. Elizabeth, are you there? Yes. I'm still here. I thought you were something just What was that? Elizabeth, your uncle. He wouldn't stop. What happened? I could hear the sound of... Wait. I thought I heard something here. That's going to be our father, isn't it? What is it, Elizabeth? Somebody is trying to talk on us. I must go. No! No, stop! Stop! Let go of me! Let me go! You get off! Ah! Uh-oh. So she's finally been found. Right, so, that is pretty cool. Right, so we've got the crow key now, so we can go and get that cylinder. Oh, he's locked this, I didn't even realise. <laughs> what I am going to do, though, actually, is go down, uh, down, oh, what? What? I thought he was done. Oh no. <laughs> we just stunned him to his knees. And now the the floor is filled with others. Fantastic. But I wanted to come here because there is that door. Where was it? Yeah, the crow one over there. On the on the right. I wanted to go in there. I know it's probably just for a music doll, but and what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to check the rest of the um, the rest of the maps, see if there's any more doors that we can open that we haven't yet. There's a bear trap in there. Actually, hopefully that's not attracted anyone. Uh, what are they? I'm not sure. Just pipes, I think. Yeah. It's a shame I can't wield one. Right, it doesn't look like there's anything else in here. So it was just to get that that music dial, which is fair enough. Um, right, so let's just have a look. So there's nothing else there. Um, gardens, no. I wouldn't expect there to be anything there. Basement. Oh, it's one of the, the harp keys in the basement. So maybe I should go down there. Or anything in here. 
there's a locked door, but I don't know what the key is for that at the bottom there, you see it. And also next to that bit, which is the kitchen, I think. So we can't get in there yet. So yeah, I reckon we go into the basement and unlock that one there. So let's uh, let's go back to the lift. So we're going to have to go to the ground floor first and then into the basement, but that is absolutely fine. What I might do, I might, um, I'll stop recording now and then I'll edit it back once I'm back there. Um, just so you don't see me walking through. Where is this music box? Aha, uh -huh, there we go. Nice. Yeah, so I'm going to, I'm going to stop recording and then I'll come back as soon as I'm at that door or if something else interesting happens. So I'll see you in just a sec. Hi guys, so I am back. I'm just at this door, but I've just noticed there's a question mark here. Oh, it's just one of them. A heel. I missed the first time around. Right, let's have a look, see what's in here then. With the harp key. Shut the door behind us, although that doesn't really seem to do anything. Isaac's blueprint notes. Separating it into four has made it safer to experiment with, as the full effects of the song can only take hold if they're all played in sequence. But how to mitigate and control that effect when they are combined? Like a melody in a dream, I almost have it. Okay. And there's Scare Island, which I'm still not actually sure if it even exists. I'm assuming it doesn't. It would be interesting to know if it did. <laughs> um Okay, and I'm guessing I can just open this door from here, yeah. All right, cool. Well, I think that that is it then. So I'm going to go back up to the second floor um, and get that cylinder. So I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to stop recording and I'll come back. Whoa. I'll come back as soon as I am up there and ready to open the door. So I'll see you guys in a sec. Hi guys, um, so I'm back up onto the second floor and uh, I thought I'd just start recording now. I'm trying to make my way back, but it is full. It is full of these guys and it makes it obviously more difficult with this guy. The big dude's walking around again. Well, I don't think he's following me now. Yeah, there he is. But look how many of these there are though. And now he's on his way back round. I might just have to go for it. There we go. Come 
Right. So that is another cylinder. And it looks like this is where I need to go. He automatically shut the door behind me, so maybe he doesn't follow me this way. I'm hoping I've not missed anything in that room either, but maybe I can come back at some point. Right, so it's now saying I'm in the attic. Okay. One. What is that? No way. Is he following me up here? Should not have done that. Is this where she was hiding? Two, four, five. Right, so I mean, I'm assuming we've got to hang them up in order. But I can't pick them up, I don't think. Or do I, just, do I just have to look at them in order? Let's try that. Luckily that didn't trigger him to come up here. Right, so one. Three, four, five. Well, that didn't do anything. Maybe it's something actually in the pictures. And to be honest, probably something to do with this as well. One, two, three, there's five keys. Uh, there's a symbol on each one, okay. So yeah, so he's there with a stag or a deer. She's with a cage. dog or an umbrella right okay so let's have a look at one I think we've got to do the notes in order so one is a fish so fish two is the dog Three was a bird, wasn't it? Yep. And then that's the cage. Do I have to do it quicker? So what is it? Fish, dog, bird. Okay. That seems to do something. Am I doing it in the wrong order? When I do this one, it, it like resets almost. What? So 
So it's like I've got to do four. It after after I do four, it then clicks. So which four? Try again. So, fish, dog, bird. There we go. I just had to do it quicker. Oh, I was just trying to shut it. Don't look at me, monster. It's herself. Has she been. There's something dodgy gone on with her, I think, with Elizabeth. She may be turned into a siren. It's going to be something like that, isn't it? Elizabeth's diary entry number two. I've locked myself in the attic and barricaded the door. The grand harmonium does not seem to have affected me like the others. This all began with that creature. Sequence, um, well, sequestered beneath a scare point. It has to be free, preventing it from harming anyone else. I must ensure I can get to the cavern safely without what were my father and his men from finding me. They are not sane men anymore. Yeah, we definitely know that. What? I reckon she's a siren. And she's a... We're affected by her song. That's going to be putting it like the cylinders on or something, isn't it? I am not in control. The song is too strong. Yeah, I think she's turned. We made it up to the attic and now we're falling all the way down to somewhere. <clears throat> and that's now broken, I'm guessing. Right, yeah, we've fallen all the way down into the basement. There you go, there. A garbage chute, not, or, or a laundry chute. Great. Well, that's now broken. Here's was diary entry number three. I took a chance leaving the safety of the attic today. I have discovered my father has begun doing unspeakable things, burning men's faces with no reasoning for it. I hear uncle beneath these floorboards, wandering the halls, searching for me. He has become a mindless giant. They have both sunk deep into madness, wearing their horrid ritual masks. It frightens me. Some guests have arrived early for the grand reopening. I tried to warn them, but my father and uncle forced this madness upon them. These poor people are now just as monstrous as my family. It's too horrible to describe. Right, so this leads into another save. Okay, there is a door leading out of here. It is done. I have managed to make phonograph copies of three of my father's four cylinders. Three parts of the siren song. The fourth, I've come to realise, is the very same tune as the musical locket that you always wore, mother. The very one which I was so fascinated with as a child. Even as an infant, were you grooming me to take your place as my father now commands? 
Whatever the truth of your misdeeds, Mother, I want you to know that I've arranged for these fragments of the siren song to be dispatched to four composers. Your locket to go to my dearest Thomas. With his help and theirs, we shall come up with a means to counter the power of the song my father so desperately seeks to control. Oh, great. <clears throat> okay. Right, so, yeah, look for cylinders around the hotel, escape the hotel. So we've still got one more cylinder to find. Um, that sounds like a music doll. How many have I got, actually? Um, collectibles. 13, okay. I'm guessing I have missed them. Although they're, they're very loud. So you can kind of hear them from a distance. But that's number 14 now. What? How did the candles all light again? <laughs> mythology. In Greek mythology, a siren is a creature half bird, half woman, who lured sailors to destruction by the sweetness of her song. Sirens are not the same as mermaids, but have been mistaken as the same throughout the ages, yeah, even though they're half bird and not half fish. Um, it is believed that in medieval times, sirens stopped being depicted as bird-like to fish-like creatures due to a confused interpretation by writers and artists. Okay, that's quite interesting. This has led um, over centuries... This has led over centuries to the true visual image of sirens evolving and being widely de depicted as mermaids, which in Greek legend is not the case. Sirens were actually first documented in Homer's Odyssey of the 8th century BC and later write specifically that sirens possess wings or that they have heads of beautiful women and, and bodies of birds. Yeah, I did actually know that, that they were birds and not um, fish-like, but I think, I don't know where you guys are watching from, but um, obviously I'm from the UK, and there's a program here called QI, um, and it was it was just one of the facts that I learned from there, that they're actually half bird and not half fish. But they used to, like, perch on the rocks like on, on a rocky shore um, and lure sailors to their deaths. No idea why. There's the last cylinder. That door opened so slowly. <laughs> okay, and it's led us back to this bit. Right. We now have find the remaining song sheets. Yeah, I've got f I've got three of those. I need one more. Hopefully, I've not missed that. Where do I need to go then? I think that's that means I've missed a song sheet somewhere. Um, is it worth going back up into the attic? Let's have a look. Right. 
Second floor, or it could be in in that room that we got the third cylinder from. There's another locked door there, but we don't have the key for. We've been everywhere there. There's the gardens, obviously the basement, and then the ground floor. There's bits in the ground floor we've not been to. But we need to open that door that's through the kitchen, which is locked. Unless that's now open. Right, well, I'm going to make my way to that area. Well, what I'll do, I'm going to go to the entrance of the basement and then save. Um, because this video is probably about time now. Especially since I've broken it down into, into like three separate videos, I think. If I remember rightly. So yeah, so I'm going to save now, and then I think what I'm going to do is yeah, just try and go to the areas where I've not been to yet, but that might be a case of doing it off camera, and then if I find something, then I, I start recording, but that obviously there's that section on there, on the left, there's quite a few rooms I've not been to, um, so I'm going to have a look there, if that door might be open now, there doesn't seem to be anything else anywhere else obviously i want to check the second floor again because i did rush past that um the last room before coming well before going up into the attic so i want to check that and there is another locked door there but i don't have the key for it yet and then i wouldn't mind having a look in the attic again okay What are these? Is this playing the... Yeah. Oh, okay. So we do actually have some more... More to listen to. That's cool. Notes. Yeah, that's just all the random notes we've got. And then collectibles. That's only that. Okay, cool. Well, yeah, so that's the plan. So, um... I'm probably not going to be here when you when you watch the next video, but I'm going to be looking for this last song sheet. It does make me think I've missed it somewhere, which is really frustrating. Um, but yeah, so that's the plan. Cool. So uh, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much and take care.